Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah and today we are continuing our mystical motherhood challenge and I'm so excited. <laughs> I have been dying to film this Let's Play. I think the last time I uploaded it was like two weeks ago. It's been a really crazy past two weeks just because it's the end of the semester. So finals, tests, projects, all that good stuff. But um, I just have one more class and then I'll be free for the summer. Um, so expect a lot more videos from me. <laughs> so in the last episode, we filled up the house and I said that I was gonna give the kids makeovers, but then I realized, or I was gonna give them makeovers in between that video and this video, but then I realized that I usually do it on camera. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're gonna give, um, the Santa's kids and the vampire kids their teenage makeovers. And we're gonna keep the spellcaster kids as, uh, toddlers for now just because we still need the third one and you guys preferred me to wait until the third one is born so that they can all age up at the same time which makes sense so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing this episode it's gonna consist of makeovers and we're gonna start working on their skills so that we can move them out so that we can have more babies <laughs> I wanted to let you guys know I kind of created a little schedule that I'm gonna try and stick to because I noticed that a lot of you guys, like when I upload a video, you ask where like a different series is going to be. So this is the order that I'm going to upload them. Legacy Challenge, Mystical Motherhood, Bit Life, 100 Baby, and then Rags to Riches. So since I just uploaded Legacy, we're doing Mystical Motherhood now. The next video would be Bit Life, and then after that, 100 Baby, and then after that, Rags, and then after that, Legacy. And I might sneak in some Create a Sim challenges or builds in between those. But that is the order that I'm going to try and stick to so that you guys know what's coming next, if that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you guys for being so patient for me during this time. It's hard for everybody, but uh, I just want to say thank you and that I love you. And let's get into this episode. I'm so excited. All right, guys, here we are back on the lot. And of course it's snowing. It always snows in my Let's Plays. Like, it's it's very rare that it's not. <laughs> Let's see what everyone's up to. Okay, so Brenna is having a nap. Is she currently pregnant? No, she's not. She can't be. Don't forget to make time for me. Girl, we got everything we needed from you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, right. Uh, we have two spellcaster babies, Merlin and Sabrina. And then we have Nick and Noel, who are Santa's babies. And then we've got the two vampire kids, Dawn and Ash. So I think the first thing we should do is the makeovers so that we can get going on those, uh, working on their skills. Um, so I asked you guys what you think we should do for the spellcasters, like what skills we should do. And a lot of you guys thought that it was a good idea to... Uh, level up their magic rank uh, according to who their parents are. So Sabrina's gonna be doing mischief magic, Merlin's gonna be doing... Oh my god, is, Mor is Morgan untamed magic? I don't know, whatever uh, field Morgan is in. And then the third spellcaster will be that field of magic, so that's what we're gonna do for that. I was thinking about doing that with the vampires too, but uh, it's just... Vampires are hard. They really are hard. So I think we're just gonna stick with the uh, skills for now. So Dawn is gonna be doing Pyborgan and Ash is gonna be doing Vampire Lore. And then for Santa's kids, Noelle's gonna be doing Baking and Nick is going to be doing Woodworking. So we have to buy a woodworking table. I can't believe it. Everyone is asleep. Even Servo. Okay, here we go. I am so, so, so excited for these makeovers. I browsed on Sims Resource a little bit before starting this um, starting this episode just to see if there was any cool vampire CC that I could find and I noticed like a lot of people are making post-apocalyptic style things which kind of look like vampire things so I found a lot of cool stuff. Also a lot of you guys were asking me about this create a sim background. It is like a Sims 3 inspired one. I will link it in the description if you guys want to download it because I got a lot of questions. Uh, yep. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's age up these babies. I'm so excited. Let's do Noelle first. Okay, everyone say goodbye to toddler Noelle. Let's see what she looks like as a child just to see. Okay, I see a lot of Clement in her. I don't know about you guys, but uh, I definitely do see a lot of Clement. I don't see any Brenna, if I'm being honest. She's cute. Okay, enough of that. Here we go. I'm scared. Okay, 
Yeah, she looks exactly like her dad. She had gray brows and then white hair. I think this Nessa Sim skin detail is really good. It really makes the skin look perfect and it adds like the tiniest bit of contour and blush. So I think that'll work. <laughs> you guys, her face does not scream joy and love to me. She just seems upset about something. <laughs> but we're gonna try. We're gonna try our hardest to work this out. Oh my god, what if we gave her this blush? I mean, it's so extra, but isn't Christmas extra as well? This one makes her look like uh, an elf, which fits. It's on brand. I like this blush too. Mm. I really like that as well. I would never put blush there, but I like the way it looks in The Sims. Let's find you some hair now, some nice holiday themed hair. I don't know what it is about this hair, but it just screams elegance and glamour to me. And I like that her we can see her ears so that we can add earrings later. Of course, she needed a red lip. I mean, it's a freaking Santa's daughter. <laughs> she needs one. Okay, and then I wanna find her the prettiest, sparkliest dress that I can find. Um, I have one in my head already. Let me see where it is. Oh, I downloaded this too, but I don't know. It's kind of risque. There's that, but I don't think I'm feeling that, guys. Oh, this is cute. <gasps> oh, I actually love this. I think we might have to go with this, but let me just see what the sparkly dress looks like first. Is it this? Ah, yes. I mean, for every day, it's a little much. It's just, it's too formal especially for every day. So I think we're gonna have to go with the, that, that one, that one that I randomly found. Okay, this is what I came up with. I know I freaking said I wanted glitz and glamour, but it just didn't work out. I think she looks so much better this way. Let's find her some earrings and then call it a day. Oh my God, the snowman. Should we do the snowman? <laughs> yeah, snowman it is. She benefit from some eyeliner. Is it red? Ooh, fierce. I like that too. All right, let's go with this one. Okay, so her aspiration will be, uh, let's do Master Chef, and then her traits. I think probably cheerful, am I right? Cheerful and maybe natural cook. I think that'll help us out with the baking stuff. All right, perfect. All right, everyone, here is Noelle. I hope you like her. I actually am a huge fan of how she turned out. This outfit just chef's kiss, you know what I mean? <laughs> you guys, for her cold weather outfit, I'm giving her these elf shoes. <laughs> okay, let's move on to her brother now, Nick. I'm very, very excited for this. He's such a cute bean. Why does he have brown eyes? Did he have brown eyes? No, he definitely had blue eyes. Okay, we need to remember that when we age him up. All right, here we go. Child. Oh, look at you go with your vampire teeth. Okay. I kind of like that he aged up with red hair. Uh, it goes with the theme, doesn't it? All right, teen, here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I could work with that. He looks, yeah, they look, they look a lot alike, actually. I was trying to find the correct vibe for his hair. Um, I wanted something kind of polished and not so messy, and I think this one actually looks good. And I changed his brows. Uh, I think maybe they need to be a little bit lighter, though. Maybe those? And I think he needs mouth corners. He's looking too intimidating to be Santa's kid. It's gonna get rid of one of his moles, though, but it makes him look more approachable, don't you guys think? <laughs> All right, let's have a look at what we should wear. I love that he has a belly. He's already halfway there to being Santa. <laughs> Didn't even have to do anything. Okay guys, how we feeling? I can't decide about, or between these shoes or the white Converse. I think the white Converse are pretty sick because they give him a like a youthful vibe. He is a teenager. We don't. I don't really want to like dress him like an old man straight away. 
Um, so I think we might have to do that. And I do... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this shirt and pants combo. Just because the, the mismatching suspenders and belt kind of bothers me. But I can't find anything else. I mean... That is just so boring. I don't know, guys. This is a hard one. This is like another Zerg situation. <coughs> Should I just put him in this? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I think we're gonna go with that just for now. I can change it if we got time. And, uh... <laughs> I probably should have downloaded a better beard for this occasion, huh? I mean, maybe he can just like start small. He is a teenager though, and a lot of you guys were like, why does Oak have such a full beard as a teen? <laughs> I mean, why not? I've seen teens with full beards before, so... Why not? I think this'll do. He'll start small, and then once he's an adult, he can have like the full-blown beard. All right, Nick. So you are going to be... Um... Let's do... I think friend of the world makes sense, right? Let's do party animal. I think uh, that works because Christmas parties and all that stuff. So, my man here, he needs to be handy because of the woodworking that he's going to be doing. <clears throat> and what else? What else can we do? Ooh, ooh, good, 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 good. These sims become happy around sims with positive moods, donate to charity, become sad when evil sims and discuss world peace. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Okie dokie, let's move on to the vampire babies. I'm so excited to do Dawn. You guys don't even know. <laughs> She's so pretty. Okay, so she has like hazel eyes, thick dark brows, and blonde hair. No freckles. Okay. All right, let's see what you look like as a child, shall we? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm already vibing. I'm already vibing. All right, teen. Here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ooh! Oh, man. Oh, man. This is queen material right here. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, she had these eyes, but they were like hazel. And then she has very thick, dark brows. But let's see <clears throat> which thick brows look best on her. I think these are the winner. Okay, let's give her... Which fingerlings do you want, darling? Ooh, the gap one looks good. I like that. Okay, she's absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with her. Oh my god, wow. What do you guys think of this hair? I've only ever used it once in my 100 baby challenge. <clears throat> but I think it looks bomb on her. Super good. This is the hair that she had when she was younger, which also looks really good. Oh, ooh. Ooh. That's nice. <laughs> How do you guys feel about this one? I feel like it's very 90s vampire, which I like. Um, ooh, that is a nice swatch right there. That's such a nice platinum blonde. We might have to go with this one, but let's, um, hmm. Let's give her an outfit and see how we feel. And then I downloaded some makeup for her. Oh, is this one? Ooh, I actually love this. This is really cool. Oh my god, this is so sick. Look at that. That lime green liner with the purple shadow. Oh, I love it. I think we'll have to decide once we pick her outfit. I want her to be like super badass. Like you look at her and you're just like, that's a vampire. There's really no doubt in my mind. <laughs> okay, this was one of those things. Oh, this is new as well. This is pretty sick. I like that. I think it adds a lot. And so we can do... Oh no, what's conflicting? The rings? Dang it! I liked the rings. <laughs> oh well, okay. Uh, so let's add some... I guess red eyeliner? I guess so. How does the, group, the yellow look? Doesn't really match, so we're gonna go red again. And then... 
Okay, I love the little red dots. Looks so sick. <sighs> okay, and last but not least, she needs a piercing. I just gravitate towards septums. I just think they look really, really good. But I'm gonna hold off and give her something different. You know what, how about a bridge? I've always wanted my bridge pierced, but I'm too scared. Do silver or gold? I think I'm vibing the gold more. All right, Don, you're done. You're going to be, uh, right, you're doing the pipe organ one, so let's do music for you. Oh, here we go, natural musician, and then she can have, let's do alluring, all right. I'm stoked about you. You're dope. Wait, wait. Your chest is kind of bare. Hold on. There you go. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's move on to last but not least, Mr. Ash. What the heck happened to your brows, my dude? They need to be black. <laughs> okay, let's see what you... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you have all over freckles, uh, brownish hazel eyes, dark hair, or dark brows and light hair. Okay. So here's what he looks like as a child. I like the green hair. All right, here he is as a teen, I'm scared. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. You're doing great, sweetie. Okay, let's strip you of all this stuff. Okay, honestly, super promising. Kinda wanna give him these brows. I know they're a bit extra, but all right. Uh, let's see. Skin details. No! I want this skin detail out of my game. I'm a fan of this skin detail. Okay, that one works. And then you need some lashes. Hey, you don't look bad with the downwards facing lashes. Or should we just do normal ones? I actually like these ones a lot. So we're gonna do that. Uh, what kind of fangs? Hmm. Let's do those ones since we gave Dawn kind of normal fangs. Uh, this eye color is wrong. You needed the greenish brown one. Ah, there it is. Okay. Ooh, I think we found the one. Okay, what do you want to wear, dude? Did I download anything for you? I think I did. Oh, there's some good stuff here. I can work with this. Okay, I gave him a septum because I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> and then earrings, 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 earrings. Where are those cross ones? Perfect. All right, I think this is the look that I'm gonna go for. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so since he wants to do the vampire stuff, I'm gonna do the vampire aspiration. Wise and powerful vampire, and then your traits will be... Let's do night owl and independent. Okay, Ash, you are all done. And we are all done with all the makeovers. It only took me an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> Uh, so let's get to work on some of the skills. Probably not gonna skill build for too long just because I've already been filming for that long and um, my eyes are starting to hurt. I need to give them proper beds now. I know that they're not kids, so let's do that real quick. I'm sad. I love these beds. I don't know if I have them for a uh, grown sim. Let's find out. Oh, I should get the vampire's coffins, shouldn't I? All right, there's that. And then the spellcaster babies are staying toddlers. It's the Christmas babies that we need beds for. Oh, cool, I can get the same beds that they had before. Perfecto. All right, we are all good. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. What's going on out here? Hi, guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot to give you a cold weather outfit. Well, that's my bad. Okay, so, oh right, we need to buy a pipe organ. Where am I gonna put a pipe organ? I suppose we could get rid of the toy box now that they're not kids anymore. Move this here. All right, there we go, perfect. What else do we need? A woodworking table for Mr. Nick. All right, there we go, a woodworking table. Okay, and then what else did we need? Pipe organ, vampire lore, baking, and woodworking. Okay, we are all good. We are chillin'. Okay, so what's she doing? Chat with Dawn, that's fine, but I'm gonna need you to start baking like yesterday. So why don't you bake some breadsticks to start? Miss Dawn, oh, she's already sitting at the pipe organ. 
Perfecto! All right, go ahead and practice. And then you, my son, vampire lore, right? So there's a computer in this house, right? Yeah, so come up here and research vampire secrets. Thanks for cleaning the computer, but we need to use it. So go away. All right, perfect. Their skills are coming along very nicely. Purchase vampire tomes. Let's buy the first encyclopedia thing. This is an inventory, so read that. Uh, you, chat with Noelle and eat eggs Benedict. Wrong. I need you to um, craft something over here. Let's do a horse. Let's only craft toys. That can be part of the uh, challenge. You can't craft anything besides a toy. Yo, Dawn is already level three pipe organ. It's cause she's inspired or imaginative. It's the same thing, but uh, her skill's going up really, really fast. Proud of her. And Brenna, she's just getting some well-deserved rest. She, where the heck is Servo going? Make snow angel, okay. <laughs> How's your relationship with Servo anyway? It's pretty good. Maybe you could come over here and join him. Let's compliment his appearance. Uh-oh. This bean be furious. Here, darling. Here's some breadsticks. Eat one. Wait, did you finish that horse sculpture already? Oh my god, you did. And it's excellent. This is working out famously. I think we need a little um, display case for all of his creations. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you! What are you doing? Napping? Mm, nah, I'm gonna need you to bake some more. Let's do brownies and then you can do sugar cookies after. Hey, you're supposed to be reading a book! Oh my god, what is with this? Where did the breadsticks go? You're the only one that has stayed doing what I told you to do. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn. Oh, you as well. Yeah, you're getting that baking skill on. Can we put you in your other outfit, please? Oh, and you have spoiled food in your inventory. Mm. There you go. All better. She's my favorite, I think. I don't know, I like her a lot. She definitely gives me Santa vibes. Okay, you, just, you really wanna wear that outfit, don't you? Mm. Mm. Want. All right, now, oh my God, look at all these other options we have now. Let's make cereal marshmallow squares. Aw, sweet dreams. Merlin had a really good and memorable dream recently. That's adorable. Homie needs a bath. So why don't you ask Brenna for one? Oh, just kidding. She's taking a bath herself. Well, once you're done in there, let's give him a bubble bath. Nick, why don't you come over here and craft another hosey, please? Oh, she's feeling fearless from what? Feeling confident from her personality type. Nicely decorated pal palliative pipes, whatever that means. And she's bullied, that's just lovely, isn't it? Mood, I wonder what the butler is making. You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments who your favorite teen is this time around. Bro! Anyway, you're gonna have to let me know. <laughs> Um, uh, Sebastian won by a lot last time. Um... <laughs> I'm, I'm curious who's gonna be your guys' favorite this time around. I have a feeling it's gonna be Dawn. Either Dawn or Ash. Just because they're so cool looking and a lot of you guys seem to like vampires a lot. I do too. Don't get me wrong. Did you already? Oh my god, you already finished that second horse sculpture and down she goes! But why though? No, no mood swing. No! No! <laughs> Resume the squares. We're just gonna have horse sculptures all over the house by the time we're done. <gasps> I forgot. I forgot to take pictures! Oh my gosh, and so many of you guys reminded me in the comments. It's okay. It's fine though, because the pictures that we have up here on the wall, they are from when all of the other kids were teens. So I think we should we could just do teen pictures. I'm sorry guys. I knew I was gonna forget and I did. I should have made note. Wow! He made rack a lamb. What's the occasion? Okay, he finished another horse sculpture. 
He is pumping them out like nobody's business. He really is Santa, isn't he? Where are those marshmallow squares, darling? Oh, there they are. This is very fancy, isn't it? Oh, it is New Year's Eve. I guess that could be the occasion. Yay, Nick's uh, already level three, uh, level three woodworking. Oh, wait. I thought woodworking was its own skill. Dang it, I really thought that it was. Oh well, we can just pretend. There goes Merlin. Oh, there's the breadsticks. Another horsey sculpture. When is he gonna be able to make something different? Oh, here we go. Ooh, bunny for sure. Bunny, definitely. All right, where are you at, Dawn? Level six? I think it might be because of her uh, tree. Yeah, natural musician. These sims can learn and play any instrument easily. That's gotta be it. And I think that was the case with Ariel too. She had the natural singer trait. So she, she reached level five really, really fast. We didn't even have to do anything. I mean, I know that there's 15 levels to this skill, to the vampire lore skill, but I didn't realize that they uh, learned it this quickly. Oh, it's because he's a quick learner. And it's nighttime, so he builds extra skill at night. Okay, well, I guess they're going to be moving out a lot sooner than we thought. How's your skill coming? Yeah, level three. Yeah, you're going to get there real soon. Did you finish that bunny? Aww. Cute! Five sculptures already. I am so proud. It looks like he needs the second vampire tome, so I'm gonna order him one and get him to read it. I really like this batch of kids a lot. I just love how their makeovers turned out. Mm, I'm gonna be real sad to see them go. Cuties! All right, I'm gonna let you get to level seven and, or should we just max it? I mean, we might as well just max it, right? But I'll let her get to level seven and then I'll send her to get her social up. I guess that's all she needs. Oh my God. Servo can flirt with the TV. <laughs> that is so hilarious. Shashubi, everyone. Shashubi, 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 yubi, yubi. Oh god, look who's here. <laughs> Why is he naked? <laughs> he must not have a cold weather outfit. Will you watch the freaking countdown? Watch. Both of y'all. For some reason, they can't freaking watch it. How annoying. The butler was the only one, and no one shashubi. I think we can probably get rid of this tree now. And then uh, I want Brenna to increase her relationship with Servo a little bit in this episode too. Even though she's super smelly. Actually, why don't you take care of that first? <laughs> oh, they just became good friends. Oh, 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 she's flirting with him without me telling her. <gasps> kiss, kiss, oh my God, first kiss. Wait, I thought they already had their first kiss. Or am I tripping? How's this gonna look? Oh boy. That's just silly, isn't it? Oh my god, they can woohoo! Oh my god. They can't try for baby though, but I think if I do risky hookup, they might be able to. Oh my god, robot woohoos. How the heck? That's just strange, isn't it? Servobot acquired the woohoo skill. Good for you, my dude. What do we want you to craft next? Let's do an elephant and then we can do a dragon after that. And then you love what's wrong. Awful holiday from charming toddlers not socializing. What? She's not even a toddler anymore. What do you want to bake next? Let's do bread. I love baking bread in The Sims. It always comes out looking so good. Did you finish? You did. And look at how cute it is. Aww. That's adorable. All right, time for a dragon one. Orlin is hungry. There's bread here, love. Okay, so you know what I forgot to do in this episode? We need to build our relationship with uh, Simeon. So I think, uh, keep being friendly. 
I think we should probably go on a date with him. How do we have a positive reputation when we're having babies with all kinds of dudes around town? Please tell me how that's possible. Simeon, here we go. Okay, let's, uh, hmm. Let's ask him on a date and let's go to breakfast. Ask on date. Oh yeah, and you guys were also telling me that I can get the sugar skulls from the, um, ooh, flower bunnies tomorrow too. Ooh, okay. I can get sugar skulls from the the hidden buy menu or something like that. I'll have to look up how to do that, but we definitely will. Um, is there a breakfast lot? <laughs> Did I even place any restaurants? Maybe we go to cafe. That'll work. We already had our first kiss with Simeon, so this relationship should be pretty easy to build. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what kind of mood he's in. <gasps> oh no! Okay, he shoved us and then he just... Okay, let's tell him a joke. Let's relate to his feelings, get to know him a little bit. Alright, why don't we order something? Uh, what can we- Ew! What the? Ew! I don't think I want to order anything to drink, so we might just order some food then. Let's get a croissant. Please don't leave. Come inside, order something. Aw, how cute is this? Rhapsodize about piano sonatas. Be she slacker. Where's our croissant? Where's our croissant? Where is it? Did someone take it? Someone probably took it. Oh, look, she repaired it and cleaned it. Or it wasn't broken, it was just dirty. Speedo? You guys, look, this is my Maxis Smashed Sim self. What's she doing here? Brenna put on a bit of baby weight and it all went to her booty. She's like a Pixar mom now. This is going really, really well. Uh, but I don't see an option to woohoo, so there's probably nowhere to woohoo around here. Oh my god, you guys, look at this. This is so funny. <laughs> She's hugging him from behind. It looks like these, he has two heads. <laughs> Oh man, um, that's from the Passionate Romance mod. That's so funny. This mod is so strange. Walk while holding hands, beta experimental. Hmm, let's do normal. See how that looks. This is weird. <laughs> it is not working out. <laughs> Guys, gonna go. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can stop now. <laughs> okay, well, we got what we needed. Why are you gonna flirt with this random person? Darling, I did not tell you to do that. All right, and we got a gold medal on our date. Time to go. I caught her right before she freaking started flirting with that guy. I think we're gonna go ahead and check out that, um, sugar skull thing because i'm really really curious let me see how what's the cheat to get that first okay so the cheat is bb dot show hidden objects okay once you have activated this cheat enter debug in the search bar to bring up the objects okay so search debug search debug all right Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. Holy cannoli. Holy cannoli. <gasps> oh my god, little lettuces. I'm gonna have so much fun in build mode with all this stuff. Hey, look, a baby. <laughs> wow, I could have purchased a servo for no dollars. <laughs> okay, so the debug menu didn't work, but I just went to miscellaneous decorations and here they are. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay. Let's put them all in the case. These are cool. I love these for decoration. Okay, there's all nine. Let's see what interactions we have with Grimm now. Honor the dead. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm nervous. What? What just happened? 
Oh, oh, this one popped up. The dead have been honored recently and need to rest. Um, okay. Is Grim here? That ain't Grim. Aw, Servo baked a cake. Aw, I don't see anything different about anything. Okay, so she has this mood lit. They'll probably be best buds if he shows up. If he shows up. Perhaps they'll enthuse over each other's sugar school collections. As long as Brenna is a celebrant, she'll have a high chance to successfully plead with the Grim Reaper for another Sim's life and can quickly gain relationship with the Grim Reaper. Okay. So I guess that there's a chance that he'll show up. But he did not show up this time, which is kind of a bummer. But I guess we can try it again in the next episode? Because we can't do it again right now, unfortunately. Aww. Daddy's asking if we want to come over. <laughs> That's so sweet. Wait a minute. Why is Brenna smoking? Is it because you're honoring the dead? Um, interesting. This is all very confusing. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna leave this part right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I really hope that you guys enjoyed the um, the makeovers. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments who your favorite is, of course, like usual. I think she's probably my favorite. Her and Dawn, they're both awesome. All right, guys, I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.